Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. I'm here with the other guy this time. Hi. And we're jumping back in with a new technical season. The quest book got corrupted. So... Let me find it. There it is. So as, as you can see, the entire quest book is empty. And all the quests that we did were erased and that was a lot of progress <laughs> and it's going to take me way too long to get back so what i wanted to do was instead of doing quests we're gonna make this not like a full-time series like it used to be but it'll it'll kind of it'll replace uh minecraft build it for a little while since i'm kind of running out of ideas and we'll do some minor things like we'll do some boss fights and we'll build like the transmutation table and stuff like that some things that were we were going to do eventually but i i wanted to kind of wrap up the series as um and and still do some kind of stuff instead of just leaving it kind of where it stood so i don't think i've shown you guys around the new base yet so I'll do that now. So this is this is my house that I built so far, and so this is it's got my, like my chest room with all my crafting tables and my furnace and stuff like that. It's got all my stuff in it. It's pretty nice. I really like it. And then this is like my quest chest for things I want to do next. So like here's some of the stuff we need for the philosopher's stone for making the transmutation table. And then over here is like my bed, and then some of the uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. And then we go downstairs, and we got like the portal room, we got the nether portal, we got the mining dimension, we got the end cake, and then we got the twilight forest portal. And then finally way down here, we got our mine, the incredible maze of tunnels we got down here. It's crazy. So some of the some of this I tried to keep from the old version of our house ba uh, base area. But that's the house and then we come outside. I made a little a little factory. It's kind of dorky looking and it's really blocky, but we got some pretty nice stuff in here that I really like. We got some netherrack going oops into the pulverizer it crush and then we're getting crushed netherrack because it's a really really good source of gold we got our advanced melting factory we got our magma crystal and fluid transposer for blending pyrothium we got our um cobblestone compressor going right here and our soul binder oh, that's done nice And then we got the induction smelter. So yeah, that's that's the factory. I moved all of the cows, and then I put them kind of in like a rainbow, but not really, because I slapped this one in there between aluminum and manganese. But it's pretty it's pretty rainbowy. We got we got our red cows over here. The stabilized redstone, adamantine, iron, sanguinite, and then we go through all the colors. And then we loop back around, and we end with, I think, shiny? Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Uh, I threw down some slimy slapling, slapling, saplings, just for fun. And then we got our little farms here, with uh, flukes, crops, and then some wheat, some potatoes and carrots, and then we got a lot of cows over here, and then we got the massive smeltery. We just got a lot of crap in it right now. And then we got the kind of wall area, which was, it's like big towers on each corner and a huge wall going around. And then of course I kept the windmill we made in that Minecraft Builded episode because I thought it was fun. I didn't want to get rid of it. So yeah, 
that's kind of the layout of the new base. We got a pretty big area in the middle to fill, so I'm not sure what I'll do there. But yeah, so I wanted in this episode, I kind of wanted to show you guys around again, so it's, it's probably been a while if I haven't done it already, and kind of chat about what's going on. In this episode, I kind of wanted to fight the Wither, which we haven't done yet, because I need a uh, Nether Star for making the transmutation table and stuff. And then we call it a day. I, I also, we did fight the Ender Dragon, which went pretty easily, so we wanted to, we want to resurrect the dragon at some point with the resurrection stone and do that stuff. You were gonna record it and then you just didn't. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the other guy and I, uh, around December I think, we did a full playthrough of Project Ozone 1. So we've beaten the entire quest book. We we actually finished the whole thing, and it, it didn't take too long, but it, oops, it took quite it it took quite a bit of time. It didn't take too long once we got the transportation table up and running. Yeah, but I, I wanna I wanna show you guys that eventually here because it was it was really cool. I'm really proud of what we did. So I'll, I think I'll attack that on the end of this video as kind of a showcase of what we did and where where this could have gone had we not lost all our quest progress. So as soon as the other guys finish making his pickaxe, we will go fight the wither. Are you getting close? Uh, I'm making I'm making a sword right now, so I want to use the titanium sword. Did you not make a pickaxe yet? Yeah, I made a pickaxe. Oh, okay. Also, why'd you put the obsidian bolts in there? Oh, because I didn't want them. The dorky looking. It's because they're bad. Alright, so you want to kind of explain what we're supposed to be doing here with the wither, since I haven't done it this way before. So, there's, it's basically the starter way to fight the wither, the very, it's more of a vanilla way, you basically just dig a long 1x2 tunnel, and then, at, and then at the end you just dig out just enough space to spawn the wither. Okay. Plop down the wither, and it'll try to get to you, but it can't break blocks too fast. So as long as your tunnel's long enough, it won't. You can just keep walking backwards and hitting it, and you'll be fine. Uh, I've done it several times. It's easy. All right. Are you ready then? Uh, yep. All right. So let's go down to the mine. You'll get to see my maze of tunnels. Oh joy! Since it's a modded wither, we might want. To make it a bit longer than usual. Okay. Well, I I bought I got the good bow for a reason, so hopefully it shouldn't. Oh God, this is a maze. Yeah, it's really long. Opening like the the map, you can see oh, wow. the tunnel system here. It's crazy. But this should be good. So one by two. Yeah. You want to slap torches down behind me? I don't have any. Oh, here. Oh, I also mined... Oh, hold on. I mined into the floor because I can't see anything I couldn't tell. Oh, you got the chance keys that renames all your items. Yeah. Uh, you want to go in F7 mode and make sure it's not um, dark. Oh, diamonds. Wow, that's so useful. How far do you want me to make this? Pretty far. You don't want it too short, otherwise it'll break out. Oops. I 
pickaxe mines very, very fast. Is this far enough yet? Uh, a little farther. A little farther? Alright, that should be good. Okay, I'll finish this up. Okay, right here. Okay, so now what? Mine just enough space at the very end to create the river. <laughs> Mine's much more space. Oops. So like like this, is this okay? Because uh, I need to be able to put the heads down. Yeah. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> Run away. I want to get one shot off on it. Okay, and then... With my absolutely awful crossbow. I'm gonna prepare my bow. Did you shoot it? Alright, you're good. One, two, three. Oh, it's healing now. Uh, you'll have to do melee. There we go. When it's in its last phase, you need to do melee. I'd forgotten since in Project I, Ozone 2. I picked up this video. Okay. In, in our Project Ozone 2 world, I murder it so fast that it doesn't have a chance to even go to phase 2. <laughs> That's because you got a much better bow. <laughs> yeah, my bow is so strong in Project Ozone 2 that it one shots the Wither and um, I think it two shots the Ender Dragon. Alright. Cool. So that's that. Did we get the nether? I got the. Oh, I got three nether stars. Yo. Nice. And it's video evidence that we didn't cheat them in. That is true. Which way do we go? This way. Down the tunnel. Oh. Red marks on the floor. Unacceptable. <laughs> There's more over here. Good lord. I'm horrible. Oh, yo, is that Paul? Yo, where's Paul? I want to see Paul. Things over here. Right there, behind you. you just, he literally just ran past you. Over here. Yo, Paul, how's it going? Well, don't kill Paul. I didn't, I just shot him. Sad. You're very rude. Oh. How dare you kill Paul? Yeah, you were trying. No. You had your bow locked on him. No, I had my bow out. There's a difference. And locked on him. No, I, I shot you instead. Yeah, because I'd already killed him. Straight to be sad. Paul did nothing to you. Paul did everything to me. Cool. Well, we got three nether stars. And we, oh, we got a yellow heart. On Division Sigil. I have so many of these. I have five activated ones. <laughs> That's definitely more than I need. And a lot of crap. Good lord. Still don't know what to do with the shaders. You're supposed to put them on things, but I really don't feel like it because I'm not sure what they do. Oh yeah, also, if you remember from the previous season, this I this is like, I, I live right by a village, so there's like part of the village. And I, I took down another part of the village to, to put up the wall in the house. So there's the vending machine that comes with the village hiding around the corner of the house. You weren't supposed to tell people about that. I know, but I thought it was funny. I don't know what to do with this. Do what? Oh, the molten core. Yeah. Um. Good question. We'll just throw it in there. Alright, well that gets us another piece that we needed for the transmutation table. I wish I could fly. <laughs> well, you'll be able to fly as soon as we get the transmutation table. Cause I'll Stuck within the confines of this place. I'll check, my, I'll check my armor in there and then hand you some. 
Alright, well, we, so <laughs> we beat the Wither and we got the, uh, the Nether Star that we needed. So I think all that's left for the Philosopher's Stone, let me check. We need. Oops. Oh, actually, that's everything. So let's make the philosopher's stone. Got to make sure I put everything in the right order. And grab the another star. Booyah! Thank you. Hey, give that back. Ow! Ow! Give it back. I already did it! Behind you! Why did you invite me here just to make me suffer? You're the one shooting me back. You shot first! It's self defense. Oh, whoops. No, I, I smacked you first. Because you took it. Anyway. You're right, revenge. Meow. Anyway, <laughs> we're well on our way to make the transmutation table, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hang on, that helped level my bolt. Oh, really? Anyway, before you rudely interrupted my outro, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Hello, everybody, and welcome to Project Ozone. So... After the end of the video, I wanted to do a little bit of a showcase of our our world that we didn't do which uh, like a we didn't do a, a video for, and kind of show you guys what the end game looks like and what we did. So like here's our house, very big. And then our massive smeltery that goes into the sky. And if I jump in it, uh, you'd bleed. Yeah, we've we've got the flux infused armor, and then we got we each have some of the stuff, and we got like angel rings and stuff like that. But yeah, here's our smeltery. This thing's massive. It's got a bunch of crap in it. I completely forgot what the inside of our house looked like. <laughs> yeah. We got all our we got all our stuff like that. We got enchanting table. We have a bunch of little um, trophies because um, we have this epic sword called uh, Ifiola Tree, and if you look at it, it has lots of enchantments. It's got looting level thirty and Reaper five, which made doing some of the achievement stuff a lot easier. It also came with. Bear hunters, which are the greatest crossbow bolt ever. Yeah. Watch this. And no, don't kill me. Oh, I'm on fire. How much damage did that do? Not enough, but now I'm on fire. How much? It did like two hearts. Holy cow, the flex infused armor is overpowered. Yeah. The bear hearts do 97, the bear hunters do 97 attack, 97 hearts of damage. Yeah, the... And my crossbow adds 146.5 damage to that, hearts of damage to that. Um, um, unfortunately, the flame did more than the actual damage. That's just how broken the flux armor is. Yeah, is. but like, yeah, we got we got a working ME system with all our stuff in it. We had Batania set up at some point, and then yeah. we deleted it. And then we have a transmutation table. Ignore the 828 million EMC we got because Angel Steel is broken. Yeah, Angel Steel is very broken. I wanna I wanna show you guys how broken Angel Steel is. Where's Mark One? Eleventh degree, first degree. So I'm just gonna get an inventory's full of Angel Steel. I never finished the factory. Mm -hmm. So that was. Finished the reactor though. Let's see. That's eight thousand per stack, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty-five, fifty, sixty, seven, eighteen stacks of it. So that's, what's 18 times 8,000-ish? Oh jeez, I don't know, don't ask me to do math. Well, 18 times 8,000 is a number. And then you just throw that all in a hole, so it combines. And now we have all this, and we just keep checking it.
until it finishes. This crossbow is ridiculous. And then when it's done, maybe. I don't think I got enough stacks. Right. Well, because I'm holding, I'm holding the draconium armor now. Let me get a few more stacks. Let's probably grab like four more stacks, I think. I'll grab six, seven. Because um, essentially what happens is it's incredibly broken. Because it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it hasn't taken me that long to get all this. That that was less than a million EMC there. It was only it was only like a couple hundred thousand or something like that. Anyway, well, I'm getting crap from it. But like usually, what happens is we end up getting. A ridiculous amount. Are you bad at math? No, I'm just. Oh, oh you're picking it all up. What are you doing? <laughs> well, don't hand it to me. I didn't mean to. I just chucked it in the hole. Well, anyway, whatever. When I did it, I might I might not be getting enough stacks. But usually, when I do it, we've been able to get. Trade up a bunch of angel steel from like first degree all the way up to eleventh degree, and we profit EMC. Massively. Yeah, we profit by like at least a few million EMC there. But yeah, so this is like this is the um, angel steel setup. It uses a red aura, which is essentially like the TNT blasting. It makes it super easy to get angel steel compared to that stuff. And then we got our other angel steel setup with the cascading synthesizer and stuff like that. Um, this is our Galacticraft setup over here. We got the workbench. And then we got all our oxygen compressors and stuff like that. And then another transmutation table. And then over here we got our rocket. And I have 305 million EMC, I didn't realize that. Stuff like that. Uh, over here we got the reactor that we literally don't use. Yeah, in a, in a factory that I never finished. But that's okay. How much EMC did you say you have? 305 million, which is a lot considering I never touched the angel steel. Yeah, because I have 828 million. <laughs> we, got, we got some of our mechanism stuff over here. We have part of our power flowers that we deassembled. And then we got some of our mechanism stuff, three alloy smelters and stuff like that. Like yeah, whatever. <laughs> then we got some enrichment chambers and more stuff like that. Over here we have our massive farm. Then we got all our cows around the outside. Which is pretty cool. We have quite a few and there are no order whatsoever, which is wonderful. Over here is the, uh, the door house. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, that's right, right below me. Yeah, come inside here. It's the, uh, it's the door house. Yeah, we, while demolishing the village, I kind of took everything that was here and just chucked it in this one house. <laughs> so there's a ton of stuff in there. Uh, let's see. That's kind of it for that. We have a massive wind farm, or a solar farm, connected to this charger that we were using to charge our flux infused armor. Um, trying to think, what else? Oh yeah, we have a we have a quarry over here. I think it's massive. Uh, ignore the field of chance keys over there. Let's see. What's in the mine? I don't remember. Uh, I think it's literally just the mine. I don't think there's anything special about it. Might as well take a look. Oh yeah, literally just a mine. That's hilarious. Oh, you got berry bushes. 
It's been a while since we looked at this. Yeah, it's been. It's been almost a year, I think. Uh, no, it's been. It's been since like. It's been only like five or six months now. Either way, that's a long time. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to showcase all the quests. So, yeah, we finished. These two are repeatable, so they don't count, but we finished all the quests. And it's crazy. It took us. How long did it take us? It took us like a month or two. Yeah, it took us like a month. And it took us a lot of grinding. Or at least me. Hey, I did a lot of grinding too. Yeah, but I played a lot without you too. Yeah, so? That's how I got the Draconium. It, it took us... It took us a decent amount of time. Some of this stuff wasn't incredibly hard. Some of it just took a lot of EMC, which was a lot easier when we abused Angel Steel. And the, like the seeds weren't very difficult and stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's kind of our world. It was really fun to really fun to do this. And it was a really good time. And I think I think both of us are super proud of what we were able to do here. This is pretty cool. Oh, let's showcase the sword. Cause there's a slime over here. Bonk. Yeah, with that one smack, I got 26 slime. I wonder how many shots from this crossbow it takes to kill one of us wearing flux infused armor. Uh, we don't need to test that. Cause the flux infused armor is just broken in this. Uh, I think I think that's good. I don't think we need to test it. Cause it does a total of almost 250 hearts per hit. Yeah, but it only did like half a heart of damage. Yeah, which is <clears throat> ridiculous. Anyway. That's where we're going to end this. I'm just super happy to show you guys the world and what we did. Because this was, being able to show show this off was, was really nice. Because it took us a lot of work. And I think, stop shooting at me. And I think it was super duper fun to be able to be able to do this and then have you guys see it. Hey, I got you. Yeah, you got you. So that's gonna that's gonna do this. We'll tack this on to the end of um, the Project Ozone video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.